because it's going to be warming up for the weekend and that's a great transition to what we're doing out here on the patio. It's going to be warm this weekend, always looking for a way to cool off. And Matt and Leah Leatherby from Leatherby's Family Creamery are joining us this morning. They're the winners of this year's KC3 A list for best ice cream. Long tradition yeah. of ice cream here yeah. in the Sacramento community. Yeah. How long has Leatherby's been around? Uh, 33 years, I think. Hard to remember when it's yeah. such a part yeah. of your family. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Did you grow up in there scooping and yeah, I was playing pretty, in the freezer? Pretty much born in, inside yeah. the, you know, the freezer. But, uh, but yeah, um, worked there throughout high school, college, kind of got me through college, um, and now I'm back in action. So, That's great. Yeah. Very fun. All right, so as we look to some of the things that are kind of new, even the ice cream business has to be freshening things up, right? Yep, absolutely. And so what's different right now? So my wife, um, well, we've always had our caramel and chocolate. It's, it's homemade. We make it right on the spot at, at all three locations. But my wife always toys with all the ingredients. So she grabbed our caramel today and made some caramelitas and some... Yeah, so these are called caramelitas. They have oatmeal, butterscotch. Um, it's a little bit like a like a blondie. The caramel, it you is, yeah, those? brown sugar. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, so it is very similar to that, but... Even better. Even, of course. It's very gooey and caramely. Um, and then these right here are the caramel apple bars. So I guess kind of like a ode to fall. Hopefully coming back, you know. It'll come. Just going to be a while. Yeah. So when you take something like this, and this is a good trick for people as they make their own desserts at home too. When you take something like that that has such complex, sweet taste, do you pair it with an ice cream like you would, say, like an entree with... You know, a wine? Yeah, typically we'll, we'll bring it home and I mean my wife and I were, my dad's from a family of 10 so we're always having family events so she's making these and we're throwing vanilla ice cream and the chocolate fudge and whatever on top so it just it makes for you know fun events and yeah. There's always something going on always ice cream wise going. Test, yeah. testing yes. something out. There's always ice cream on, on, on the spot at, at any event we have. Looking down at this one here, this kind of bluish ice cream, what is that flavor? So it's one of our special flavors. It's called uh, Cookie Monster, and we throw a few different kinds of cookies in there, and then we made it blue, of course, because kids love cookies and they like the bright ice cream. So, uh, it's, well, and it, Cookie Monster's blue. And Cookie's blue. Yeah, and yeah that you is know. true. So, exactly. So, we, we make it um, occasionally, typically in the summer, mm -hmm. um, you know, when families are out and the parents are coming in. That is a total kid color, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's been absolutely. a big hit with the kids. I absolutely. am sure. It's kind of funny, though. You see all the parents coming up to the, you know, our, where the, it's displayed with all the ice cream and they're yeah. coming up. Uh, can I try that? Yeah. <laughs> Young at heart. It's, it's All right, so fess up just a little bit, because there's got to be something that you tried that just did not work. Um, Danielle's laughing yeah. down there. She knows what it is. <laughs> All right, so what is something that you guys tried and you're like, uh-uh, this isn't going to fly? What do, you, what do you think? Oh, man. We, well, we've had a few mistakes. You know, uh, I remember a couple months ago we went to make pistachio ice cream, and pistachio is green. Well, we had, um, what was it, chocolate mint extract, and so he switched the two ingredients, put the mint extract rather than pistachio extract. So we had a pistachio ice cream with mint, and it actually tasted all right. But <laughs> it was a pretty, pretty weird flavor. That's it just sure. needed a name yeah. change. Yeah. <laughs> How about, is there another one maybe? I would imagine sometimes you try maybe more adult type flavors too. Well, well you know what? Um, we have a flavor that we didn't think would go well, but we had all these crumbled cookies left over. We had, what was it, brownie bits, um, a number of different ingredients where it was like the crumbles. So we went, hey, let's just, me and my cousin, we're yeah. working a late night and we... This is what you do if you're 11, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> so it was a late Friday night and we go, hey, let's go back and, and just throw all these ingredients in the machine. Anyway, it came out looking, it was chocolate ice cream with, with cookie crumbles, brownie crumbles. Anyway, we ended up tasting it and it's phenomenal. And it was good. But it just so any, anyway that, we ended up the eye appeal that you like <laughs> this is Leatherby not so convinced yeah. about it. <laughs> yeah. the research continues thank you for coming yeah, in and congratulations thank for you. being our A-list winner thank we you. appreciate it thank you